Hey guys, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury Channel, Archie Luxury, the Australia's favourite rail advocate, rail advocate. And uh, I've been a little bit quiet on the trains, yeah, I've been a little bit quiet, but um, I've uh, I got some more goss and uh, dirt for you to, to go on with. So what's happening, Queensland Rail, what's happening? <coughs> and... The interesting thing is the state government, the Queensland government, hasn't forked out one cent. They have to accept 17 trains, uh, have to be accepted, and then they start coughing up money to pay for them. And it's quite interesting because what's happened is um, physically there are probably 17 trains there. Physically, there's 17 trains there, but Jackie Trad, the union thug, union thugs, the minister, she's um, she's doing everything in her powers to stop the commissioning of these trains, and that they are just stalling. They are stalling, stalling. And it's not really the manufacturer's fault. It's not the financier's fault. It's QR political bullshit. And I gotta tell you, there's all these things that are being blamed. The real blame is the lack of drivers. Just like I told Sterling. Sterlo. I told Sterlo a long time ago. And, uh, I, I, I gotta tell you, the government's basically, Jackie Trad's putting the blame on the supplier. But the real truth is there are no trained up drivers. If these trains were perfect, they couldn't start using them because there aren't enough drivers. And they're inventing all sorts of technicalities to, uh, to stop them being commissioned. Uh, they're saying the DDA, they're not DDA compliant. And at worst, we're talking 12 mil per seat. DDA is the disability sign-off for, for punters. And uh, the funny thing is, you know, with the DDA, it was actually signed off before they started manufacturing these trains. So it's all bullshit. All bullshit. All a lie. All an absolute rot. And uh, I got to tell you something too. The... Um, I've got some good sources here. A specialist rail guy has been sent out. And uh, he knows the truth. He knows the truth that the government is full of shit. There is no driver. See, the problem is they can't approve these trains. Because there are no drivers to drive these damn things. And see, it's a very political disaster. See, when these trains were initially commissioned... They were supposed to be driver-only trains. That's all you have is one staff member, the driver. But then it's a big union shit fight because the guards, the guards, the unions, the guards, what are the guards going to do? So these trains look like becoming three people trains, a driver and two guards because it's just been such a hogwash the union the union stranglehold of the um jackie trad the labor party it's the union's party big business votes for the lnp and the union votes for um the alp so they're inventing all sorts of things to stop the trains being approved the line of sight what the hell is this line of sight the line of sight simple. It's a painted line at the end of the station. And all you do with the train to adjust the stopping is a, you adjust it so it stops on this line. Not, not, not terribly difficult, but no, they're making a mountain out of a molehill. The line of sight. Line of sight's a painted bloody line. You just need get one of these trains out there. A can of fiddly bits, you know, fluoro, fluoro, put the lines in and you're done. 
You could use a stencil if you really want it to be swanky. It's, uh, it's really best for the government not to accept any trains as it's embarrassing to admit there's no drivers to drive them. And it's, it's, it's an absolute disaster. Absolute disaster. It's a Labour Party disaster. And, you know, what, what, what do you say here? It's just, it's just revolting. And I, I think realistically they should, you know, one driver, is it a three staff or one staff? You know, the, these are the questions. The unions won't let them get away with it. The unions, but see, these trains were designed to be one person, one staff member trains. They're not meant to be. Suddenly the uh, the unions thrown in guards, guards, they want a guard in the middle so that, you know, they had to retro. The government's throwing ev everything in its path, altering, changing. They're just being really quite awful. And um, the reality is they'll be hit up with huge costs, huge costs. Um, I believe the, the manufacturer and the financier, they've already sent, they've already sent. An expert out so uh we'll see how this plays out i'll get some goss i'll try and get you uh the confidential report uh we'll see what we can come up with there but jackie trad union thug union thug that's all you can say union thug and um it's such a shame they got they got they've got 17 trains there they don't have the balls to admit we don't have any train drivers. No, no, they, they, they just blame. They just, typical, typical union thuggery and politics. Don't ever commission any of them. Don't commission any of them. It's an absolute disgrace. Jackie Trad, grubby, grubby, nasty unionist. Grubby, nasty unionist. That's the problem. Grubby, nasty unionist and, uh, I gotta be completely honest with you there, you know. The other side is just as hopeless, probably. The other side will be just as hopeless, but Jackie Trad, she's not gonna let them. She, they, they're really working on technicalities to stall them because there are no drivers. So that is the truth. That is the truth. They're doing everything in their power to falsely stop them. And I think it's a disgrace. Jackie Trad, these union thuggery tricks are just, just so damn nasty. And I'm not going to sit there and let you pull this, these lies over, over the state. I'm not going to allow these union thuggery lies allowed to exist. So, um, yeah, yeah, it's, 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 uh, at least with Sturlo, I mean, at least with Sturlo, he, 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 um, at least with Sturlo, you could, um, you could chastise him. He, 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 he Sturlo was, Sturlo was, you know, it makes you appreciate how much we really loved our Sturlo now that we've got a union thug in the seat. I mean, Jackie Trad, she can play nasty. I mean, this is a, this is a career politician, a thug, a union thug. And, uh, I mean, I'm a bit more left-wing than right-wing, but Jackie Trad, oh, my God. I'm Archie Luxury reporting on QR, QR rail fail. Tell me what you think, and I've got heaps of union, <coughs> I've got heaps of uh, QR employees emailing me. Yes, anything you send me is confidential. Any reports you send me, I will keep confidential. And uh, I'm more than happy to be releasing anything juicy. Please, anything juicy. Send it my way. My uh, email address is in the description of this video. And I'll gladly, gladly put it on YouTube and send it out to all concerned. I'm Archie Luxury. See you later.